Uranus begins a new cycle in the zodiacal sign of Aries every 84 years. It is a gas giant with 27 moons orbiting it. The atmosphere of Uranus is filled with hydrogen and helium. Uranus is associated with Aquarius, the 11th sign of the zodiac. In mythology, the story of Prometheus is allied with Uranus, as well as the tale of Pandora and her box. In modern times, aviation has been an expression of Uranus and what it represents to mankind. Every type of air travel that humans have developed are expressions of Uranus's power. From airships, to jet aircraft, to the space shuttle. Aquarius, Uranus are both allied with aviation. Storms are natural phenomena that associate with Uranus and Aquarius in astrology. The Titans speak. The 1929 stock market crash was the biggest shock of the young century. Panic ensued and various stock exchanges where sellers outweighed the buyers. People protested because of the inequality caused by this economic crisis. Americans needed to get a fair deal, a new deal. In the 1930s, radio was the most dominant media of the time. Many people gathered around family radios to listen to a variety of entertainment, from radio dramas, to music, to news and world events. One of the most famous radio shows of the 1930s was Amos and Andy. Its popularity would last another 20 years. Let me ask that thing off again. Amos, look out. First thing you know, a policeman's gonna come up here and wrap both of them. Don't you worry about a police. You get this thing fixed and get out of here. I'll take care of the police. Uh oh. Amos, I told you police would come up here and rest if you don't get out of here now. Mickey Mouse and Walt Disney made their debut in the 1930s with Steamboat Willie. And Will Rogers was the most popular man in America in the 1930s. He was an all-around performer. Then how are we to know of your birth? Well, kind of gather from you that you, you doubt I was born. Of course, out in our country, if you walk up and appear before anybody in person, why, we take it as fairly positive proof that you must have been born. Movies like the comedy Animal Crackers with the Marx Brothers, Dracula, the horror movie with Bela Lugosi, and the Civil War drama Gone with the Wind were popular films in the 1930s. Fashion and style in the 1930s showed a conservative reaction to the provocative flapper dresses of the 1920s. Depression era style would be frugal and reserved. Babe Ruth 
was one of the most popular persons in the 1930s. He would be an ambassador for his game for many years to come. His sport, baseball, witnessed a jump in popularity in the 1930s with great teams like the Philadelphia A's managed by the great Connie Mack. Skyscrapers were being built to higher and higher heights in the 1930s. For the first time, man's structures touched the clouds. In India, many people marched for independence from the British Empire and against colonialism behind the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi. In Japan, Emperor Hirohito and the Japanese military structure prepared their people for war against China in a decades-long world war. In Germany, the Nazi party rose to power by using political gains to gain power in the Reichstag and eventually taking full control of Germany. In 1935, Benito Mussolini and Fascist Italy invaded Ethiopia. The overmatched Ethiopians had no chance without international help. Despite appeals by Emperor Haile Selassie to the League of Nations, Ethiopia's fate would be sealed. In the working out of a great national program that seeks the primary good of the greater number, it is true that the toes of some people are being stepped on and are going to be stepped on. But these toes belong to the comparative few who seek to retain or to gain position or riches or both by some short cut that is harmful to the greater good. On March 13, 2011, a massive tsunami hit off the eastern coast of Japan. This natural disaster occurred on the first day of Uranus's ingress into the sign of Aries. The Fukushima nuclear power plant was also severely damaged, a natural and man-made disaster. The 2008 economic crisis brought out many people to the streets to protest inequality in 2011. Their movement was called the Occupy Wall Street Movement. These protests occurred in every big city in the U.S. and some abroad. In the 2010s, cable and satellite television is the most dominant media of the time. Featuring three judge talent competitions, these shows reached millions of people and were very, very lucrative for those who put it together and many others involved in these shows as well. Celebrity culture began to grow with constant coverage of media celebrities. Heiress Paris Hilton is one of the pioneers of reality television. Her work paved the way for the Kardashian family arguably the most famous people around today. Ever present at red carpets, award shows, events, and other functions, this family perfected the reality TV technique. Popular movies of the 20-teens include The Hangover and its series of movies. Twilight is also very popular in its series of movies in the 20 teens and the civil rights drama The Help 
was also popular. Fashion had developed a highly polished style in the 20 teens. Any girl could have whatever she wants and have something different tomorrow. Versatility was key. Illuminated cities like Las Vegas shone brightly and moved quickly. Michael Jordan is probably the most famous retired athlete today, with many fans who follow his every move. Billions of people worldwide are turning to Google, the internet browser, for information. They are also turning to Twitter, the popular social network, and its main rival, Facebook. The country of Iran remains under international pressure with the ambitions concerning a nuclear weapon. This pressure, along with the Palestinian-Israeli crisis, has damaged relations between Iran and the West. Kim Jong-un, the leader of North Korea, has made attempts to saber rattle America and the West. He is also in pursuit of nuclear weaponry. In Syria, the leader Bashir Assad is brutally crushing a rebellion which is part of the Arab Spring movement. Many have been called on to intervene, but only token assistance have been given to the Syrian rebels in their movement. We reject the belief that America must choose between caring for the generation that built this country and investing in the generation that will build its future. For we remember the lessons of our past, when twilight years were spent in poverty, and parents of a child with a disability had nowhere to turn. We do not believe that in this country, freedom is reserved for the lucky, or happiness for the few.